I am Alicia from adultspeechtherapy.co and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about cul-de-sac resonance. So what is cul-de-sac resonance? So cul-de-sac resonance occurs when sound resonates in the throat or the nose and it's trapped in those areas. And so as a result, speech may sound really muffled sounding. You may see this in patients sometimes with very large or enlarged tonsils. So that can cause that sound. It may sound a little like this. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Just like it's trapped in there. So how do we help these patients with cul-de-sac resonance? A big part of it is becoming more aware of it. So I've talked about this in other videos, but you can use forms such as audio feedback, recording their voice, playing it back, having them listen to it and identify, oh, my resonance was different there. So there's also other ways you can decrease cul-de-sac resonance. I'm gonna show you some of those exercises. So one way, again, the classic yawn sigh, which is useful for so many things with voice and resonance disorders. So again, the yawn sigh is going to help lower the back of the tongue, raise the velum or soft part of palate or roof of your mouth and it looks like this. You can then try it with some sounds such as A, E, I, or Ma, ba, da, sa, ra. Emphasize this with your patients that they can continue to use this throughout their day. So another way with cul-de-sac resonance is an open mouth technique. So basically that's just telling them to over exaggerate when speaking with their mouth. So it just increases their oral focus oral cavity versus the nasal or laryngeal cavity and it looks like this how are you nice to see you it's a lovely day today so exaggerating it i did slow down there but naturally that will happen sometimes when you have an open mouth posture another way is through a lip trill <laughs> feeling the buzz on their lips having the patient focus and feel the vibration in the front of their face. They can try this technique before speaking because it helps them have their voice project forward versus their projection up or down, or typically, you know, is through the nasal cavity. So it has that oral focus as well. So good luck teaching your patients how to target and reduce their cul-de-sac resonance. For everything else, including free PDFs, be sure to check out adultspeechtherapy.co.